what I try to do at the station is not compartmentalize things. This is my research, this is my teaching, this is my community engagement. As far as I'm concerned, they should be seamless. Okay. So, if you're going to engage the community, as a scientist, we have to, uh, what we carry to the table is knowledge about the place. And that knowledge can only be derived through research. The research is done uh, because we're teaching students how to become scientists. Okay. And that is done both in the classroom, but more importantly outside the classroom by actually doing it. So you involve the students in the research, through apprenticeship, involve, and because they are involved in the research, they have to be involved in communicating the outcomes of that research. And that's how we start our community engagement. Yung, the key thing that Sir Al did um, for his students or mentees or advices to better understand corals is um, he would always assign you to trips. So when you are going on field trips, aside from its fun, you get this sense of standard or baseline. So you get you can compare the different reefs from different areas, the different states, and so on. I think that is what's most valuable. Now he's he's trying to hone your skills. He's trying to hone your uh, scientific perspective or point of view. In terms of learning experience with him, well, uh, we get to learn old men's tales because it's not like um, it's not something you read in a book. Eh? There are things that only experts can tell you. In philosophy, there's this phenomenology, the original experience. So you get to see it firsthand, not just in TV. And then at the same time, you get to correlate it with the theories you've learned as an undergrad and then use it to progress knowledge.